Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Happy Monday, of course, today is Monday and we only have one more week left of our home learning because next week, as we know, we are going to be back at school and we are so excited to see you next week. Right, so today's lesson is a read lesson. Now, for your starter today, I have got some read questions for you. And I'd like you to see if you can spot the mistakes in these read questions. Well, they're actually in the answers. I'm going to show you them now. So here are our read questions. The first read question says, did Victorian children go to school? Give evidence. And this is the answer that we've got. And then the next question says, can you explain how you think the Victorian children felt when they got in trouble? And we've just got sad. So pause the video and have a think about maybe what do you think's wrong with these answers? Now, you might have realised it in the first question, it says give evidence. And our answer, we've just got, no, they didn't. We didn't give any evidence. So that would not be a great answer for this particular question. If we take a look at our second question, it says, can you explain how you think the Victorian children felt when they got in trouble? And the answer is just a one word answer. So that's not really explaining or using an explanation to back up our answer. So it's important when you do your read questions, you're thinking about what the question is actually asking you for. Right, let's move on to today's lesson. So our learning objective today is to read and understand a text. To be successful in today's lesson, we're going to be finding keywords, we are going to be skimming and scanning, of course. We're going to be finding key evidence in the text. And some of us might be challenging ourselves to use a quote. Our text for today is about schools in Victorian Britain. So I'm going to show you our text for today. This is what the text looks like. It's just a page schools in Victorian Britain. Now, I thought to get us ready for today's read lesson, we are going to have a game of fastest finger. So we know how this works. I'm going to show you a keyword and you are going to see if you can find it in the text. This helps us practice our skimming and scanning skills. Let's take a look at our first word. Get ready. Our first word is labour. So, skimming and scanning for the word labour. If you need to pause the video, you can. We're skimming and scanning for the word labour. Have you found it? The word labour is here. Labour. Great. I hope you found it. Next word we are going to be skimming and scanning for is the word misbehaved. So let's go back to our text. Skimming and scanning for the word misbehaved. So the word misbehaved is just here. Misbehaved. Right, moving on to our last word, Bernardo. So skimming and scanning for the word Bernardo. Can you find it? Bernardo is here. Great. I hope you managed to find all the words. That helped us to practice our skimming and scanning skills. And that's something you're going to do when you come to answer the read questions. Okay, it's really important that when we answer our questions, we pick a keyword and then we look for it in the text because actually it really helps us answer the questions that way. Right, we're now going to move on to some true or false. So I'm going to show you a statement and then we're going to see if it's true or if it's false. So. We've got the first statement here. 
all children attended school during Victoria's reign. So why don't we do this one together and then you can do the next one by yourself. All children attended school during Victoria's reign. So let's think about what words in this statement would be good for us to skim and scan for in our text. So I think possibly we could skim and scan for the word children. We could skim and scan for the word school. Or we could skim and scan for the word Victoria or possibly the word rain. Out of all of those words, I think the words children and school would probably appear quite a few times in our text. So I'm not sure if they would lead us to maybe the answer that we're looking for. But actually, I think the word Victoria or rain might be a better word to skim and scan for, as that's going to tell us the answer to this specific question. So I think first we should skim and scan for the word Victoria or the word rain. So let's go back to our text. So let's skim and scan for the word Victoria and rain. Oh, so I found the word Victoria. So I'm going to highlight this. Oh, and I found the word rain, which is directly next to it. So again, when I found words that I've just given scan for, I'm going to start reading at the beginning of the sentence because that tells us that our answer is around that area. So let's go back to the start of the sentence and read what it says. At the start of Queen Victoria's reign, only a few children attended school. So if we go back to our statement, it says all children attended school during Victoria's reign. That would make the statement false because only a few children attended school. So this would be false. There we go. Right, now I would like you to have a go by yourself at answering the next true or false question. It says, boys and girls sat separately. Boys and girls sat separately. So I would like you to think about what word you can skim and scan for in this statement. Have you got a word? Right, now let's go back to our text. So you should be skimming and scanning for your keyword that you've picked. So skim and scan. Have you managed to find the keyword and the answer? If we go back to the statement now, boys and girls sat separately, I can tell you that the answer is true. Good, well done if you got that correct, fantastic. A good word in this statement to have skim and scan for would have been the word sat. And in our text, it does actually say, boys and girls sat separately. So fantastic work if you got that question correct. Well done. Right, just an extra bit of practice now before we go and complete our read questions. We're going to be looking at giving evidence. So let's do one more practice together and then we can feel confident when answering today's read questions. So our question says, find some evidence that suggests that not all children went to school. So that means we need to include evidence in our answer. Now, from doing our true or false questions, we already know that not all children went to school. So let's go back to the text and see if we can find any more evidence that not all children went to school. So this is where we found our evidence before. So we've got at the start of Queen Victoria's reign, only a few children attended school. 
Most poor children worked and their earnings were an important part of the family. So that perhaps tells us why only a few children attend school, because some poor children actually work we know that they worked in the workhouses to provide income for their families. So if we go back to our text, find some evidence that suggests not all children went to school. Our answer would be along the lines of this. We would say, not all children went, oops, went to school because because the text says. Now, not only am I giving evidence, but I'm actually using quotation marks to try and meet the purple success criteria as well. Because the text says, I'm going to put quotation mark. And this is where we copy directly what it says in the text because we are quoting. So, so I'm going back to my text. I'm going to take the bit where it says, most poor children worked and their earnings were an important part of the family. That's the bit I'm going to use in my answer. I'm going to pop it there then. This is the bit that I have copied. So that needs to be in quotation marks. So I need to remember to put my closed quotation marks where I'm finished quoting from the text. Let's read the answer. Not all children went to school because the text says most poor children worked and their earnings were an important part of the family. Full stop. So that answers the question. Also, I have embedded some evidence using a quote to explain my answer. Super. So we've had a little practice together. Now it is your turn to answer the read questions. Here are today's normal read questions, which are attached on DB Primary. There are nine questions, so you can answer them and make sure you give evidence. You can try and quote if you like as well. If you would rather do some easier read questions, I have also put them on DB Primary as well. So do the questions that you feel comfortable doing. I think today's text is really interesting, guys, because it's about schools in the Victorian times. And schools were really, really different back then. I wonder if you would like to go to school in the Victorian times. Maybe you can answer the question on the collaboration area on DB Primary. Good luck with today's read lesson, guys. I will see you tomorrow for another literacy lesson. Bye.